So I'm scrolling through the Facebook marketplace as I usually do on my day-to-day -day basis, hourly, pretty much, trying to find parts or cars to buy. And I come across some Bomex mirrors. I wasn't sure if they were legit. And so I did a little research on them, tried to figure out, do I like them? Do I like the NV ones better? And I kept finding the NV style, which is a little different. And ended up talking to the guy that was selling them and he said he got them from like a rare a guy like a Miata dealer he deals with rare rare parts so I was like okay so I ended up driving what was it seven hours Tyler seven hours in total seven hours in total to go pick up these mirrors and uh, don't regret it at all but in this video we're actually gonna show you how to make your Bomex mirrors adjustable. So these are the Bomex mirrors that I picked up. Um, I got them for a pretty good deal. They are legit um, NA Bomex mirrors. Super excited about them. But since they're JDM, when you put them on the car, the mirrors don't, um, you can't see out of them. So basically, if you sit in the passenger seat, you can see perfectly <laughs> behind you the way they're set up. But um, obviously, since we're in the US, um, I'm left-hand drive, so we've got to figure out a way to fix these. And that's what we're gonna do today. Overall, these are actually in good shape, besides like a stress crack right here. But we're gonna sand them down and get them painted anyway. Um, but this is what we're gonna do, is there's two rivets holding this mirror assembly on, somehow. We're going to find out exactly how, but what we're going to do is go ahead and drill these two rivets out to be able to remove the mirror itself. fiberglass and then this is what the inside looks like so it's basically an L bracket somehow with a spring in the nut well it's cupped on the back side so it almost looks like you could alter it so what we're gonna do is loosen these two nuts and see if we can actually adjust the mirror itself just with this assembly need this. to be a lot looser because that was the issue and i think that's what happened why this got cracked is the previous owner i think tried to move it and stressed it out and i think that lines up with that okay yeah check that out look at that loops now Holy! so what we're going to do is actually take the entire nut off and basically clean it all up and lubricate it. That way, once it's in the car, if we do need to adjust it, we can. Because right now, there's no lubrication at all in it. Okay, so now what Tyler's gonna do is spray some white lithium grease. Or it does look like it made it way easier because it's pretty far down but yeah it looks just to be about where right where it, it was, was. So now, 
figure it out. Eventually, what I want to do is weld a nut or do like a rib nut on this and actually have this to where I can unscrew it. So if I need to maintenance it again, it's easier to maintain and I can just undo it. Um, but right now what we're going to do is since I don't have any rib nuts, or wait. We have rib nuts. Yeah, I do. So that is our hole. And we need to do this one as well. But Tyler's going to deeper it because it's like crazy bad. Let's make sure we did that one okay. Yep, so we got our rubber rib nuts in there. So now we're just gonna slip this back in here. All right, let's see if it moves. Oh yeah. I found you girl. I'm just gonna, well, we're gonna try and toss it on my car and hopefully I can see behind me. to adjust this. That looks about perfect. Yeah? And it doesn't stick out too far? It works. It oh, that's works. exciting! <laughs> oh, Sweet! I thought, Tyler and I thought we were going to have to like mod like a power window thing to fit in there. Get inside and see. How you, what you think? That's not half bad! No, it's sick, right? And it has a pretty good, like, <clears throat> field of vision. Yeah. Like, I honestly was kind of scared about it just because of how tiny it is, but... Yes. You actually are able to see quite a bit. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, okay? Since my car, we can't drive my car, we're gonna leave these on here. And we're gonna see how terrible they are. Cause we're gonna we're about to find out real quick. We're real quick, so we're, not tonight, but tomorrow, which it'll still be in this video. See, you can't even see the down star, so it's like nice. It kind of just blends in. Yeah, especially when you're in it, it's actually kind of nice that you can see it, like from. Yeah, it kind of looks cool. Yeah, you can kind of see it. You guys probably can't see it, but. Oh. All right. Well, I'm pulling. I'm pulling this mirror. Okay, I am tired of you buying parts and me going, I don't like it, and then seeing it, and then me liking it. It's not fair. <laughs> I want to buy car parts. I get all the parts. It's not my fault I have cool style. All right, so now that we did that to the driver's side, we're gonna do it to the passenger side as well.
I don't know if you guys are ready to see this car with these mirrors on. It looks so good. Like, so good. Check it out. So now what we're gonna do is take it for a test drive and see if we can see out of the mirrors and if we like them. Well, actually Tyler and I adjusted them pretty solidly. I just had to push this one out slightly on the driver's side. Um, but I can see really well behind me, surprisingly. I've always heard people say that, oh, you can't see out of those mirrors or they won't work, blah, blah, blah. And I think they're great. It's kind of off-putting at first uh, because you're so used to like the stock mirror and how big it is and how long. Um, but it, honestly, you can see a lot. What do you think, Tyler? I mean, in my first opinion of it, like she was saying, like. The field of view, it's not necessarily that it's bad, because I feel like the driver's side mirror, or originally the passenger side mirror, is actually like kind of curved. So when you first look at it, it looks small, but it pans out, and you can see everything behind you. So I've had no issues. Yeah, like this is where I'm sitting. And I'm pretty sure you guys can see out of the mirror. And you can see perfectly. I mean, if I look this way,